This week on Wildcat News, we visit Mule Days. We learn more about the Hurricane Harvey Relief Drive. And we attend the annual car show. All these stories and more coming up because Wildcat News starts now. Good morning, West Johnson. I'm Hannah Creech. And I'm Emma Pollard. A tradition lives on here in Benson every year. Landry Connors attended the event. Mule Days is an annual event in Benson, North Carolina on the fourth Saturday of September. President of the Band Parent Association, Allison Creech, had a booth at the festival to raise money for the band program. She believes Mule Days not only benefits citizens, but the school as well. The Chamber of Commerce here at Benson Mule Days um, needs someone to help sponsor. So what we do is we come out and we sell t-shirts and we sell uh, merchandise for the Chamber um, and support them and they give us a portion of the proceeds um, to the West Johnson Band. Creech saw people from all over at the event. They are camping here. Uh, it's unbelievable. It's unreal how many people come in. They've got um, trailer or RV parks set up all around the entire city and the entire town. Um, and they've kind of almost shut themselves down for all the incomers coming in. They come from West Virginia. We've met people from uh, Washington State, uh, someone from Ecuador, South America. So there, it's amazing how many people have come out for the, for the event. Attendee Wanda Cribb has been coming to Mule Days since 2008 and brings her horses along with her every year. The neatest part was going to the drive through window with my, on my horse ordering a, a sweet tea and uh, everybody looking at you. I loved it so good. Um, everybody up here is so friendly in Benson. We're from Mullins, South Carolina, so we're like an hour and a half away. And my daughter's been coming ever since with me too. Mule Days is important to attendee David Barton. It's a one of a kind thing. No, no one else has a mule day. It's kind of last of um, tradition. It's, it's a lot of your traditions are dying. Mule days. It's about the last one we got. I'm Landry Connors, Wildcat News. Thanks, Landry. A group of students wishes to help hurricane victims were put into action. Mason Butcher reports. After the catastrophic damage of Hurricane Harvey, the National Honor Society decided to start a relief program for the victims in Texas. NHS advisor Elizabeth Gherkin describes the process of how the program was started. The idea of the Hurricane Harvey Relief Drive was Marissa Prendergrass. She came to me and said that she wanted to help and so from there it just snowballed into a really huge event. Junior Berta Christ is the NHS club president and believes the relief drive makes people involved feel good. Honestly it makes me feel incredible because this is something that I've wanted to do since I was a little kid and I love helping people. Is something that I kind of live for, and I think a lot of people should do that too. Chris hopes students see the impact they're making. I think that students uh, really see what they can do and that they're not just some 15 to 18 year old just doing it for whatever. They're actually making a difference. Durkin says the program was truly a student-ran event. They've completely done everything. They're the ones collecting, they're the ones advertising, they're the ones sorting. Um, so it makes me like proud as, um, you know, a person, an older person, you know, watching these young people do amazing things. I'm Mason Butcher, Wildcat News. Thanks, Mason. Now let's head over to Grayson Betts with the rundown. I'm Grayson Betts and welcome to the rundown. Here's the last week's scores. Last Tuesday, varsity volleyball won 3-0 against East Wake. Wednesday, women's tennis won 9-0 against Triple S. Thursday, varsity volleyball lost 3-2 against Cleveland. And Friday, varsity football lost 56-13. Now for the game of the week. Last Saturday, the basketball program held their third annual alumni game with teams old school and new school. Here are some of the highlights. <laughs>
tonight, women's tennis is away, cross country is away, and men's soccer is away. Tomorrow, women's golf and volleyball are away. Monday, women's tennis is away, men's soccer is home, and volleyball is away. Tuesday, volleyball is home for senior night. Come out and support all your fall athletes. I'm Grayson Betts, and that's your week's rundown. Thanks, Grayson. On September 15th, there was an annual fundraiser here at school. The annual car show is a fundraiser held by the Athletic Booster Club. Booster Club President Gary Wood explains the origin of the event. Uh, the car show, this is uh, its fourth year that has been put on, and we've had some folks in the community that were active in car clubs, and they just came to us and said it'd be a good idea to try to put one here at the uh, high school to raise funds. Participant Butch Penny showcased a 1967 Chevrolet Corvette and was happy to support the athletic programs. Everybody's real friendly, they've been helpful. It, it looks like it's going to be a nice show. It's, it's a fundraiser, so I guess that the more uh, cars you have and the more money you raise, the better off you'll be. The car show features between 50 to 80 cars every year, along with a relaxed atmosphere. People get to see a lot of new vehicles that are very sharp. They get to see a lot of extremely old classic vehicles as well, and uh, everybody enjoys it. So what it does is it allows us to generate income, which in turn is put back into our athletic programs here at West Johnston High School. Wood says the car show wouldn't be as successful without the student and community involvement. Uh, that way they get to see the good that all of our students are doing here at West Johnson and our athletic program as well. Well that's all for us this week. If you have any comments, questions, or story leads, email us at wjstudentmedia at gmail.com or send us a tweet at wjstudentmedia. And if you want to watch Wildcat News at home, on the go, or catch up on past episodes, go to wjstudentmedia.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Emma Pollard. And I'm Hannah Creech. Thanks for watching and have a great week.